What's up everybody? Mr. John Lang, wash life. So I'm pretty happy. We just got done with a big job. Uh, close to three grand worth of work. Got it done two days, so that's awesome. Um, everyone real happy. We did the concrete cleaning and I mean, it's it's cold out. We had everything going against us, and I don't. I mean, we did a little bit of pre-treating in certain areas, but I really don't. We don't pre-treat because the surface cleaner. I mean, it's like my guys even say like it doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference. Um, the only thing it might help with is like the green stuff. It probably kills that off and helps it come up easier. But what we find works better, and and also it conserves on on chem is just going at it, cleaning. If it's like a really tough area, pre-treat it, but we had so much concrete. So we just went at it uh, with the surface cleaners and, and then we I pre-treated a lot of things. Some areas we didn't even pre-treat. Um, but you know, it's, it's probably gonna need one or the other, but uh, yeah. So anyway, this is the video I wanted to, I wanna show you guys the proportioner. Got it all hooked up. We used it at the last couple jobs and let's do a review on it. So, right here is our soap line. I tried to make the soap line as short as I possibly could. So it pretty much comes straight off the proportioner down into here. And this is a 3 8 hose. The soap line is supposed to be a smaller hose uh, just, just because it's only pulling soap. So um, this is our bleach line and this is our water line i got the water line going straight from here into here bleach line is able to right now it's rolled up and tied up but it's on a drop stick right see the drop stick so it's on a drop stick and right now the hose is rolled up this is just the uh ball valve for the bleach tank so if we need to like fill up just bleach in a certain container we use that but uh so this drop stick drops into here when we're, when we're using it and then when we need to flush the, the 12 volt pump over there, we pick the drop stick up, you know, shake it off and drop it in the tank. One thing I do have added to my drop stick, which I might put lower, but it's on there so we're good. I have a check valve on my drop stick. So that way when I like go to switch them, it's only, I only gotta let, you know, from here out, you know, get the majority of the bleach you know let the shake it off and let the bleach drip out of there and i don't got to worry about you know anything any more bleach coming out of there but it's such a little amount of bleach it's okay to put it in your water tank because it'll dilute or whatever um so i wanted yeah. i wanted to take this off so i could actually show you what i'm talking about so the you know when we're you when we're pulling bleach drop stick is dropped in here and then when we're when we when it's the end of the day and we need to flush the 12 volt out, we pick it up, shake it off real well, and then this is all coiled up. And then there now it's uncoiled. We drop it in the water tank. That red lid comes off, and we just drop it in the water tank. And then it's sitting in there. Um. And then, like I said, the water tank is, has a special drill hole where the drop stick is already sitting in there, always. And it's always at five. Um, so yeah, then we're, when we're rinsing the 12 volt, like I said, we drop it in the lid on the, on the tank and then flush it with the water. And what's nice is, you know, it's running through 200 feet of hose. So there's quite a bit of, you know, mix still in there. So when you're flushing it out, you still have mix in the line so you can go hit like some tough spots on the concrete or maybe um, you want to hit some stones on the retaining wall you know you can kind of use what's left in there to kind of go a little above and beyond with your house wash or roof wash or whatever you just used your 12 volt system for um, so when we're using it the water is always at five you keep the water full open and then this is the bleach knob this is the one that changes a little bit like I said, we haven't we haven't used it for a house wash yet. Um, only concrete cleaning and roof cleaning uh, is what I've used it for so far. 
and I find for me roof cleaning is good at like three and a half three and a half poles a good amount roof gets cleaned well it's you know and maybe maybe when it's hotter out we could turn it down a little bit but um, it's so cold and stuff three and a half seems like a good ratio and I don't even know exactly what the ratio is I just know it works at three and a half and then the soap you know for concrete I didn't want a ton of soap so I was just having it at like one one and a half and then you know for the roof I had it at like two and a half so it was stuck on the roof a little more um, and then what's cool about you know just having it on a drop stick is you know you can make like a surfactant mixture in a five gallon bucket you could make some uh, some a laminator and Klingon or whatever you use you know gain and something else to help it stick on the roof or whatever your process is but this thing is freaking awesome so really happy about it um, I have like a makeshift plug in here I had plugged a hole in here or drilled a hole in this tank at one point and I'm having trouble like plugging it finding something to plug it with I'm probably gonna have to drill it a little bigger and use an actual plug because I can't get one the exact size but I need to plug it up and then we can fill our fill our tank up a little more but I usually keep it about like 30 or 25 because I'm worried about that hole or maybe I'll just get a new tank what else should I talk about oh when you do this when you get this system put together the way I have it set up right now is probably not a good idea and this is an issue we just ran into at the end of the day the pump was acting funny and I came over and I realized there was a lot of air being sucked through after here now up here and up here and up here it was no air it was it, the, the lines were completely filled with full with liquid but after here so I kind of started I was like something's leaking something isn't right and I noticed this one this you know you see that wiggling a little so something got twisted a little bit one of the lines or whatever and so my seals somewhere my seal is not sealed up so fortunately I'm gonna have to pull this apart reseal it you know that's why I swear by the white tape I hate dealing with this stuff because it seems like it, 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 you know it's not guaranteed I don't know I'm probably oh here's another thing yeah it's leaking I can feel the water feel that um, I might have been using the wrong sealant so I was using a all-purpose cement uh, PVC cement and one guy commented he said something to me worried that I was using that and I was like man it, it the stuff comes apart just fine like there's really no resistance it's just um, I think he was worried that it was gonna s stay stuck and I wouldn't be able to undo it but that's not a problem at all but I'm wondering if there's a better type of goo you know sealant that's it doesn't dry as hard maybe it dries a little more rubbery so then it has a little more give if things wiggle. It doesn't like completely crack the seal. You know what I'm trying to say? So maybe look into your thread op your thread sealant options before you put something together. So, um, you know, and I'm getting here. 